The Shy. I don't know what to call it. The Shy seems like a mysterious name. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here with Adam. Don't mind the baseball cap. I don't usually wear baseball caps, but in this case, I only wear them when I don't do my hair. So it's a mess under here. So that's why I'm wearing a baseball cap. Anyway, today's video is going to be the type of people in school, like the different types of people in school. Um, I decided to do this video because we have around two, two and a half weeks before school starts. So it's just like, this would be the perfect type of, type of video to do. So if you want to see me talking about the different types of people in school, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first person I'd like to talk about are the straight A students. And you know these, I know you met like many over the years of school and in high school it starts diminishing like you still have the straight a students like there's a bunch i still know but after like freshman year you kind of just like okay well b's are acceptable because high school teachers are a little more hard to please in, in some cases like some teachers are really hard to please and then some teachers are just give you the grade if you do it which are amazing might i add because sometimes like you're just not good at the topic. Anyway, back on topic to the straight A students. What's different about the straight A students and the like the good students is what I'd like to call. Straight A students are basically, they have to have an A. They have to have an A throughout the whole year. If they get one B, even if it's a B plus 89.9, they will freak out and they will be like depressed for a very long time. A good student is they'll have their grades upkeep. They'll still have really good grades, but they will have some Bs, but, you know, they will still be a very good student. They won't have any Fs. They won't have any Ds. It's a good student. Those are the difference. So when I say a good, good student, I'm referring to the a, A's and Bs and C students. Those are good students. The D's and F's are not bad students. I don't like to call them bad students because they may not just be good to subject, but um, I, don't, I don't know what to call them because I don't really want to say bad students because some people aren't as good as subjects as others. Like most people aren't as good as math and some people are, so, but that's the difference. So if you're one of those, comment down below. I would say I'm more of the good student uh, there's I've been a couple times on my report card where I had straight A's, but for the most part, I'm a good student. I'm not a straight A student, but I always try to shoot for the A's. But I mean, if I get a B, I'm not not beating myself. I'm not beating myself about it because I mean, by the end of the day, it's just a grade. Grades don't define you. They don't do anything but show you how you're doing in class and if you're passing or failing. That's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the next one you have the jocks. And everybody knows what a jock is. It's basically sports. I guess you call I'm I categorize jocks more in the football, basketball, cheerleading category. Because, you know, girls can be jocks as well, obviously. And but the jocks. So you have the jocks as I guess you could say the ones that rule the school, but they're not even, in high school, no one really cares about that. You're not really labeled. In middle school, that's the only um, part where it's labeled. In middle school, you have, like, everybody's labeled into something. There's always titles and whatnot, but in high school, you have the, they are referred to the jocks, but you, like, run into really nice ones and you run into really mean and rude, one, rude ones. But the jocks, um... They just basically play a sport. There's nothing really to them. They play the sport and I mean, they aren't like they're considered popular, but in high, if you if you've been to high school yet, if you're in middle school, you probably have an you probably experienced this in middle school, but in high school, it there's no more of it. So in middle school, you obviously knew there was popular people, like there's mega popular people. In high school, there's really no po no one popular. Yes, you may have lots of friends. Yes, you may have lots of contacts. But 
I mean, in that aspect, you are sort of popular, but in, like, someone ruling the school, not really. That's mainly in middle school, so. Next one, you have the gamers. And I'm a gamer myself, but I'm not, like, this type of gamer, if that makes sense. I'm not, like, I'm a gamer, but I'm not, like, I love playing video games, but I'm not, I wouldn't class my, classify myself as a gamer. So let me... Let me tell you something different. If you play video games when you get home, you're a gamer. But that's what I do. Like, I'll play it at night sometimes, you know, because I love video games. But when I'm talking about gamers in high school, I'm talking about the ones that when they get off the bus or when they get to school, they immediately go to the library and play games. Or at lunch, they'll play games. Or during their free time, they, they will play games. They will play games any second they have during the day and then at home they will play more games you see the pattern any free time whether that's lunch whether that's when they get up whether that's before bed whether that's after homework or be home before homework or after school they will play games and you know the only time they won't be playing games is that they have to do work so that's the difference now you have subtle gamers and then you have like addicted gamers is what i like to call them sometimes i'll be an addicted gamer but most of the time i'm a subtle game subtle gamer because like most of the time i get bored from games i don't like playing them all the time i will say there are like weeks um or days where i get on a game and i get very addicted to it and i play it for a weeks on end and then i get bored after a while and then i don't play it after a while but I never play, I don't usually play games on my phone unless they're the little stupid games from the app store. But, like, some people bring Nintendo Switches to class and whatnot, so. You have the gamers. Next one, you have the shy. I don't know what to call it. The shy seems like a mysterious name. But no, like the shy people. And these people basically will keep to themselves. I ran into this one girl and whenever she sees someone, like, she's just very quiet and... I'm not sure if she'll be watching this, but I'm not going to say her name out loud. But you have the shy people, which won't talk to anybody. They'll just get their homework done and then go home. The only people they'll talk to is basically their family. And they'll have like what, like a couple of friends, a couple of friends, but they'll be too afraid to talk to people in class. They'll, they are the shy ones. Now, I'm shy to a certain degree. Like... If I meet new people, I'll be shy at first, but then I will start loosening up and then start talking to them. And then, like, if I was, like, shy all the time, I probably wouldn't have any friends. Um, my friend Krista, if I, I've talked, no, I have not talked to her about her on this uh, thing. But I have one of my closest friends, Krista, and we just started talking because my friend Miracle, uh, we went... I sat with my friend Miracle at assembly and then Chris sat with her friend Miracle and we just started talking and I don't regret it at all. So Chris, if you're watching this, I appreciate you. Anyway, but you have the shy people that won't talk to anybody but themselves and you know, I get them like talking to people can be very frustrating and very hard and very scary at times. So if you're one of those, comment down below. Okay, I forgot to show, say those during the last two. If you're any of one of these, comment down below and tell me what you uh, what you categorize yourself as. Okay, guys, so the last one, but certainly not least, I may be missing some, so if you have any that I'm missing, then also comment on those down below. Anyway, the last one is normal slash weird people. You're not weird to the point where you're weird, like a bad weird, but like the weird where you're just like a funny weird, if that makes sense. Um... What I mean by normal weird is, like, you are normal in the aspect where you don't get straight A's all the time. You don't get, you're not a jock. You're not, a, like, addicted gamer. You're not um, a shy person. You, you will talk to people, but you'll be shy at points. Um, and this category, I categorize myself into this because I'm definitely not the normal, normal person. I'm definitely no addicted gamer. I'm definitely no like jock um or like amazing student but i wouldn't change it like i like my personality like 
I mean, sometimes I'll be a little insecure about it, but I don't know how to explain the normal slash weird category. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, you know that you're in that category because, because you always try to enjoy life with your thing. You don't worry about grades that much. Like, yes, I worry about my grades, but I'm not like, yes, sometimes I do stress over my grades. I'm not saying I never stress over my grades. I always try to have the best grades. Always this year, I'm always going to try, I'm going to try to shoot for the highest but i mean if i get a b i'm not gonna uh, beat myself over it because you know but normal slash weird i don't know how to explain it but here's okay let me explain explain this way you're not perfect you're not set into i don't know i literally i don't know how to explain it like you're just not perfect. You're not going to, um, I literally don't know how to explain it. Normal slash weird. The good kind of weird as well. But if you know what I'm talking about, if you're in the normal slash, um, weird category, then comment down below. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. Different types of people in school, preferably high school. But it also pertains to middle school because but just without the popularity perk, because of uh, perk, uh, without the popularity um, thing, because in high school, no one's really popular. That kind of diminishes after you're in high school. It's really just like, oh, you may have a lot of friends, but you really aren't considered the top of the top. But that's all I have for today's video. I'm not really sure if I'm going to upload this because I feel like it's kind of a eh idea, but I was just like, why not? School's coming up. I thought this would be a good time. Subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this. Comment down below if you're one of those and if I'm missing any of the categories. And hit the no bell notification. I think it's this one. Hit the bell notification. I'm not sure what site is on a middle on its mobile on the mobile. Anyway, hit the bell no no, no hit the bell notification and to get notified whenever I upload. I upload every Wednesday. And Friday, I always upload a video game. It's Video Game Friday. There was no day in the week that I had started with a V, so that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't choose it. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.